Hello, this is Brian Krawczak, President of the Wyoming County Gobblers, here with a quick wrap-up video from our 2021 Western New York Youth Turkey Challenge. We had a great weekend with a lot of great birds, a lot of great people, some awesome stories. So I've got the final standings for you in this video. I also have some photos from the event and a couple interviews that the kids did uh, after their harvest. All good stuff. You know, the smiles on the faces of those area youth who were able to successfully harvest a bird and uh, take part in God's natural resources, that natural renewable resource, it's just a special thing. The smiles on the faces of the mentors as well and the parents. Some really cool prizes went out the door and uh, we hope that next year you'll join us. You know, we want to also thank our sponsors and our supporters for this event. Without their help, this event simply would not have happened. So you'll see their names at the end of the video. We also got a special visit from the folks from Experience New York Outdoors, and that was a real treat. So once again, thank you to anyone who helped out in any way. Enjoy the video and enjoy the stories and the harvest as you watch this video, and please join us next year. Take care. Brian Krasick, President of Wyoming County Gobblers, and with me is Ethan. He harvested a bird on the first day of the youth weekend in 2021. And he's going to tell us a little bit about the story. I'll ask him some questions about his hunt, and he's going to share his memories with you. So, Ethan, you got the bird on Saturday morning, correct? About 8.30. So, were you in there before sunrise, before dawn, or how did the hunt start? Right early in the morning. We probably got there around 6. Nice, nice. So, was he gobbling on the roost? Yeah. Oh, really? Because, like, before we went out, I called him and worked him in one bed. Very nice, very nice. So, once you started calling, how long before you actually got your eyes on the bird and so what was that emotion right after you knew the birds down and, and uh, you jumped right up and get to him? Yep. Yeah, very cool. Excellent. Well, congratulations, buddy. Thank you. Nice job. You're number one, right? Yeah, you're number one on the leaderboard right now, so congratulations. We've got a little celebration going on here in a little bit, and again, congratulations. Um, so we heard a few gobbles in the morning, and then it was dead quiet for almost two hours, and we heard two jakes start going off behind us, and they came out in front for about half an hour, and then they walked off. And then they started chasing another bird that was gobbling off to our left, and another one started gobbling to our right as well. The one to the right started running out in front of us. And he was there for about five minutes when the two jakes came back and they fought in front of us. And then and the two jakes started working their way back towards us for about 15 minutes. And I took the bigger of the two. Excellent, excellent. So all total from the time you heard him gobble the first time to the time you shot, approximately how, how long? Two hours. Really, wow, very nice, very nice. You excited about it? Yes. Psyched about this harvest? Excellent, very good. Thank you so much. We were driving down the road and we saw two gobblers like 100 yards off the road. So we went up to the farm, asked the guy for permission. And once we got permission, we went back down, snuck around the edge of the woods, probably waited about half an hour. And then they came right out of the woods, like 100 yards away, and then worked their way right to us. And then I shot the first one that popped its head out. Very nice. Did you get to talk to the landowner after the hunt or not? No? Okay. Very cool. Very nice. Great story. Congratulations. Thank you.